didn't hit play, but hold on. And turn off to close the window. Ugh. Why am I like your slave? Because I'm doing shit. I got shit to do. No, you don't. Get another button. I got shit to do. What else? <laughs> got shit to do. You got nothing better to no, do. No, I got a lot of better things to do. Like what? Like get shit ready for this this uh, this sewed, as they call it. You know, Nobody cool kids call that. it. Nobody yeah, says cool that. people That's call it. That's one I think that I could win in the who said argument. I, I, you probably heard like one person say it and thought it was lame, so I started saying it. I always do that. Like, I say Chuck the Deuces because I thought it was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. People don't say that. Yeah, no, people said that. No, people said when Deuces. It, yeah, that too. Chuck the Deuces. Oh, Chuck the Deuces. That's Chuck the Deuces. That. But, like, when people are leaving, they go, Deuces. I always, I hated that. So I said it ironically, <laughs> and then it became something I said all the time. So I yeah, slowly said it unironically. I, I, I did that, too, with um, Cray Cray. Cray cray. I used it as a joke, and then all of a sudden I was like, wow, that is crazy. Oh, uh, cray. you did it with, uh, yas. Yas! Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I fell for that one. Mm-hmm. It's just, um, sometimes it's so fitting for what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is, it's so funny because it always starts with you making fun of it, and then yeah. slowly you just start saying it. I feel like that's how they all started. Say, oh, I did it with, um, if it was up your ass, you'd know where it was. <laughs> that one was like... My friend said that to me when I couldn't... It's, uh, hey, I can't find my keys. And then the other person would say, if it was up your ass, you'd know where it was. And that was, like, the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, how does that help anyone? Yeah. No, uh, my mom's... Anytime, like, you would start something with, so... She'd just look and go, so buttons on your underwear. Like, that's what my mom would say <laughs> if you started a sentence with, so... And I just thought that was something. Did your mom grow up in like a foreign country? Because some of the sayings that came from what I mean, from you there's and only a few. Uh, no, there's a the fox smells his own hole. Yeah, which is uh, if you're you know the old joke where we smell something. Oh, who farted? And then someone says, "Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Whoever did denied it, it, supplied it. Whoever, Whoever did the rhyme, did the crime." And then fox smells his own hole. No, that is the ender. No one's fox smells never heard of it. Hole. Never heard of it. Well, those are, okay, that's only two. What other ones? N- those are the only two. That's a, that's the end of it. Whoever did the rhyme did the crime. No, no, I'm saying what other two? Um, I don't know. You said, so. why? Did sound plugged uh, in? You were so obnoxious. I got worried our sound wasn't plugged it's in. It's plugged in. It's sticking out. It's plugged in. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's how it always is. That's, okay. that's as far and as that's it okay. goes. We can edit this out. Punch you so hard in the vagina. <laughs> so hard. I'm sorry, continue. You're not going to have babies after I'm done with your but vagina punching. I want punching. babies. No! I want babies. No! No! La 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 la, no babies. Anyway. Babies are going to happen. What were we talking about before babies? And oh my gosh, we could talk about my pregnancy on every show. I, no. <laughs> you talk, talk about, about the coat hanger sickness. abortion on every show. <laughs> That was bad. That is, we can edit this out. We're seriously edit that out. <laughs> no, we're not. It's terrible. We can edit that out. Anyways. Anyway. Anyways. Um, it's, your, it's your little... Uh, so, we're done with the NHL thing. No, we're not. Yeah, we're done. Why are we done? Who won? Who won? Well, you kind of spoiled it. I kind of did a whole won? thing here where we reveal it, but you spoiled it. Oh, no, we can still do it. I thought you were just going to be an ass. No. No, no, okay, 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 we'll edit. We'll edit. Start here. Okay, <laughs> see, go ahead. See, I put all the loser team no, no, stickers. No, sh- don't explain it to him. Just over go. Over the scores. Quit Quit making more for us to edit. Just just go. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so, do you, you want to find out who won the, the NHL bet? I am very excited to know. Okay, well, uh, let's see your score. See, what I did was I... I I put all the uh, the teams that lost. I took those magnets that I made and I put them over the scores, so it'd be a cool reveal. <gasps> Isn't that clever? That's so clever yeah. and suspenseful. Yeah. So you... so uh, well, I I could do my score first. Let's okay. So I, we got the shitty St. Louis Blues <gasps> that have never won up? a Stanley Cup. We could we could have saved that for next time. Boom! Gone. No more St. Louis Blues. The also never won a Stanley Cup, Washington Capitals. Boom, gone. 
uh, the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, they're not oiling any more uh, ducks because they're out of the playoffs. And the, the New York Rangers are also out Dunsky. And I got six points. Cool. So now my turn. Yeah. Okay, well, the Blues said they they lost. Yeah. No. You're supposed to, right there. You're supposed to rip it up. Um, See, I, I, this is cool ripped up. And then the Oilers lost. Yeah, yeah, they lost. Game seven. Ha! Oilers! You don't have a Capitals one. That's okay. <laughs> the magnet is left, but the, it's gone. <laughs> the, the logo is gone. Well, nine! Wait, really? Nine. Don't pretend like you didn't know. <laughs> I wish we put yours on this side and mine on that side. Why? So you could reveal your... It's 69. Oh, okay. But now we're 96. And we I, make any I jokes. prefer 96 to 69ing where you both... <laughs> The girl lays face down in the bed, and the man <laughs> naked lays reverse on her back, on his back. And what, do you just this. wiggle? <laughs> no, it's not a sexual, it's just a sleeping position. <laughs> that sounds comfortable. Yeah, well, you, you both have uh, ass pillows. It's really nice. Yeah, except your ass is pushing my face, and I don't think I could breathe. Yeah, you could breathe. It's, it's really pleasurable, don't worry. Okay. But, um, I, I, I got a proposal. Now, hear me out. Hear um, me out. the proposal better be I'm going to go clean the litter box. Oh, no, 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 no. How about for round three, we up the ante? Because we already did the, the okay, you did, you took a shot. We tied the first round. Second round, well, it, it's second round. We got to do better, more. So I say double or nothing for round three. You're just trying to prolong the litter box. Well, no, because double or nothing implies that we have to do something worse than just cleaning out the litter box. Okay. And you have to do something worse than just taking a shot of 70-proof Jameson. You have my interest. Continue. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, you know how my biggest pet peeve with uh, cleaning up animal shit is, you know, being in close proximity. That's why the cat shit is driving me nuts. So, Continue. I propose that if I lose the next round, one barehanded cat log. It has to be the full log. The full log, one barehanded cat log. And, you, but double or nothing, okay, so yeah, have you to? have to take a shot of either moonshine or absinthe. Or Everclear, anything over a hundred proof. Not Everclear. So at least anything I'm... over a hundred proof. If I do the absinthe shot, can I do the drop, the sugar drop in it? I've always wanted to try it. I'll allow it. Really? I'll allow it. Yes. Uh, okay. But I can use a plastic glove. No. That yeah. defeats the purpose. No. But that's the same as they can just put any sugar in your heart. No, it's just the proper way to take the absinthe shot, so it just kind of looks cool. No. A shot is a shot. You take a shot. I'm going to be re repulsed by it anyways. A little sugar is not going to kill the licorice and strength of that alcohol. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So double or nothing next round. Okay. Because we already did the catch hitting thing, you know. You Otherwise, we got to do it every do it single again. episode. And I've been waiting just in case... Yeah, it's I really lost. been spelling bad. I know. Yeah. I've left it. I mean, it's really been bad. Also, we're out of cat litter. Oh. I'm not a, I'm not a terrible mother. <laughs> it just was midterms a week. Cat guardian. I watch um, my cat from hell, and they're called cat guardians. No. Yeah. He doesn't call them that. No, he calls them cat Here's guardians. Here's your toys and a... Oh, there's guardians. your... There's your... Oh! He's just... He was, he was going <laughs> after the that. penguin. <laughs> Look, he was... Oh, he was leeching on... He was, oh, he, he just dropped it. Hold on. There goes your, your oh, eagle oh. cap. You just made it worse. <laughs> They're still in the playoffs. I'm Those sorry. are the Senators. Here you go, Senators. You're all peeling. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and you haven't been drinking. I've been drinking. No, that's the sad part. This is water. I just... its its It was the last day of midterms was today. I'm a little out of it. 
Okay. We can edit that. Anyway, um... So yeah, yeah but like, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, you found uh, yeah. your little uh, Capital Eagle. He's gone. Which is pretty much the exact same logo as the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Looks pretty know. much the same. But um, okay, so round three, uh, we got to make our picks. To uh, reiterate on the rules, if you pick the correct team, that's two points. But if you pick the correct amount of games, it's one point. I explained that way more confusing last episode. It was yeah, like... You, it was really... You know, I was just... And I even fucked it up, I think. Yeah, I think you even had to fix it in the subtitles. Yeah. I just remember you explaining it and me just, like, I don't, I don't care. I yeah, I think you were you texting midway through no, my explanation. No, I don't... Oh, no, I was looking something up, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... You can pick first. I, why don't we flip a coin? Okay. Do you have a coin? We have a coin in our laundry... I had Bottle. a lucky penny that I found today. Did you find it facing heads up? No. It, oh, when you find a penny on the ground, it's lucky no matter what side it's on. I don't no. know where this heads no. up, tails up. No, 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 no. If you look and you see a penny I've never even and it's heard heads this. up, you can pick it up. If no. you see a penny no. and it tails, it's tails up, you have to flip the penny to heads up and leave it for the next person. No, and you, that find, you find free money luck. on a street and it, because it's on the wrong side, you don't pick it up, you're an asshole. Telling you right now, you're an asshole. You can't. It's bad luck to pick it up on tails. Also, no, it's not. What it's supposed no, it's to not. be doing is you're get, leaving somebody good luck for the future. You're. you're it's like a paying it forward no, kind of thing. No, you find money on the ground, you pick it up. I don't care if now, it's a penny, a dime, or a nickel, or a hundred dollars. You pick it, it up. It doesn't apply to dimes, nickels, dollars, or quarters. It's just a penny. Just it's a penny rule. You can't pick it up unless it's. Heads What's up. the most amount of money you ever found on the ground? Well, I mean, a guy dropped a 20 one time, but I gave it back to no, him. No, that doesn't count. Just just so happened to pick I it up. I think I might have found a 5 one time. I found a 20. Wow. Yeah. Aren't you special? I know. I'm pretty awesome. Found a 100 on the ground when I was a kid. Did you give it back to him? It was at my house. It was my dad's. <laughs> Why is your dad dropping $100 bills? <laughs> he opened his wallet I've never, I've and never lost a $100 bill. <laughs> I've had like it, it, three. Oh, I hate hundred dollar oh, bills. But your dad, your dad lost a fifty dollar bill once. Oh time. yeah, he, he he was gonna give a guy five bucks and he gave him a fifty. And guy's like, wow, sir, really, sir? He's like, yeah. No, he was just being like, this kid must have never gotten five bucks before. Yeah. No one's ever got done this for me. <laughs> Anywho, um, so uh, round yeah. three, the uh, finals, conference finals. How did I beat you? Um. It's because you picked every single team right. I picked the Oilers and uh, the Capitals. I thought, crazy me, the Capitals can't possibly blow it round two again. But guess what they did? Again. <laughs> and the Oilers, I was like, oh, they're a cool young team. They're fun to watch. I want them to go on. Anywho. <laughs> uh, Penguins and Ottawa Senators. Um... I want, I want I want to do purple. This is purple. N no, that's pink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like how I made your color pink. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, but I wanted to do a color that contrasts my verses. Okay. Which you should do as well with your orange. So you should do like... Blue? Yeah. Blue. Oh, yeah, that would look good. A little match. Orange and blue. <laughs> okay. You know anyone that says blue? No. Says it like that? Nobody. No, that's like it's probably like a Chicago accent a little bit. Blue. No, what Dumb Chicagoans bears, are you they, talking about? They to? wear blue. They wear blue. <laughs> the bears it's are like wearing blue. They gave blue up halfway through the word. That's how they talk. Blue. <laughs> blue. blue. <laughs> okay, you pick. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the reigning Stanley Cup champions and the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm gonna say six games. Because um, uh, I think the Ottawa Senators are too streaky. I know they won game one, but it was an overtime. And Penguins, uh, I think they're going to have a return trip to the Stanley Cup. Um, I'm still going to go with Ottawa. Ottawa, because of Canada. Because of Canada. I'm staying strong with that. I really would like to see a Canadian team win. 
Um, so, Penguins, I apologize. You're a great team, even though you have a very terrible logo. <laughs> Um, you hate their logo now too, don't you? <laughs> we were, I was yeah, watching the game, and you were just like, "Those are some ugly uniforms." Well, just those. Their color scheme. It's like their numbers are a bright yellow, and mm. then they have like a dirty gold color around they, the rims, and then yeah. they have an orange diamond around the penguin. It's like, dude, you're pick one color or at least <laughs> one shade of yellow, okay? Yeah. That's just it. Just bothered me. I'm going to say the Ottawa Penguins in... Ottawa Penguins. <laughs> Ottawa Penguins game. How is this... This is like the first time you haven't drank in a show. You say Ottawa Penguins. I was saying the Ottawa Penguins. Oh, okay. I see what Play-offs. you mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ottawa, Ottawa versus Penguins. Why wouldn't you say Ottawa Pittsburgh? Those are both the cities. Why would you say Ottawa the city and then the team name? Anyway, go on, go on with the pick. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do six or seven. Go with whatever your little heart desires. Oh, you sound like my mom. <laughs> well, what should I do? Whatever your heart tells you. <laughs> I mean, like, it's great advice. Thank you, mom. But So you're going help. seven. I think I'll do seven. I'm going to probably do seven for both of them. Why? I don't know. I feel like at this stage of the playoffs, like last time, I mean, last time I guessed at that stage of playoffs, sixes and sevens, and it went pretty well. Yeah, they all either ended in six or seven. And I feel like I if only they're that one good. I five games, but, yeah. If they're that good where they're all getting sixes and sevens last round, then this should be pretty good unless somebody's really going to fuck up. I guess, but, you know. That's my logic. I don't know. You keep, it's so hard to predict the games. <laughs> I know. Like, who would predict that uh, Nashville would beat the Hawks in four games? Yeah, that was... Yeah. So, uh, well, I picked first on this one. you got to pick first on the next okay. one. Um, <laughs> oh, before we continue, though, um, can we talk about my Mighty Ducks reference that I just didn't get? Oh, yeah. I was talking about the Mighty Ducks... And you thought it was only a cartoon. You had no idea that there was a movie I with thought, little kids. I thought that the team was based off the Mighty Ducks cartoons with the superhero ducks. Well, I guess technically it's it a little bit kind of is, but I mean, the movie was first. But my favorite part of it was that we were talking about the ducks and I was just, uh, and how it was based off a movie. And I went, yeah, it, and the movie's such a ripoff. It's like a ripoff of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And oh, yeah, that's like, right. You're, and you're like, what? No, you said, yeah, you said Mighty Ducks were a ripoff of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I'm like, they're kids that play hockey. How are they a ripoff? You're like, how is that any different? I'm like, they're ducks who fight crime with hockey and they're turtles that fight crime with ninja stuff. Yeah. But you were, I didn't understand because I didn't know Disney had a kids movie called yeah, The Mighty Ducks. with uh, Emilio Estevez as the coach. No idea. And, yeah. So. They actually play hockey. <laughs> I need to watch this. And I, it's not very good. It okay. doesn't hold up well. Okay. Yeah. I, I never really liked it because I was always a, I was a hockey player, so I'd be sitting there like, that's offsides. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's tripping. That's, there's a hook. They kind of, they're loose with hockey rules and it kind of bugs me. Slapshot, on the other hand, is a great movie. Got bored. I love that movie. The first part that I watched was funny. I just got bored. I'm trying to listen to a fucking song! <laughs> that was a quote from the movie. Yeah. Okay, well, anyways. Um, I'm going to go with Predators. You would? I figured if they beat the Blackhawks in four games. Then, oof. <laughs> yeah, you would go with Predators. How many games? Seven. Oh. Okay. What? The Ducks are going to lose their fifth season in a row in a game seven. How many have the Predators lost in a row? The Predators have never won a Stanley Cup. Oh, shoot! Well, neither have the Senators. I know, I'm rooting for them both. <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> you both go. I believe in you. That well, is so exciting. Okay. That would be so exciting. Two teams that have never won a Stanley Cup? Yeah. It'd be kind of like a World Series with two teams that haven't won the World Series in 60 plus years. Yeah. When would that ever happen? I don't know. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Mm. It's well, okay. I don't really like baseball. 
<laughs> Anywho. Anywho. I think I'm also going to go with the Predators. <gasps> um, you copier. No, I think copier. You just you just want some no, of this luck. No, they're that kind of team where they're they're kind of underdoggy and they've only lost two games in the playoffs so far, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome, for, especially for like the last seeded team. So I think that the Ducks looked kind of hungover from that game seven. Partying too hard. Yeah, from that game seven, and I actually think it's gonna go five games. Whoa. Yeah. That is a beautiful five. I know. Wow. I, I was uh, voted best to make fives in school. They called me the five champ. I drew the most pretty fives ever. <laughs> Wow. I know. I didn't know I was dating such a winner. I know. You should really appreciate me more. <laughs> I went to I went to finals for my fives. <laughs> I went to state because I drew the best fives in the state of Illinois. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That 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 little improv was done long before I finished. <laughs> um, so you want to get to our uh, next topic of discussion? Yeah, which um, I thought it was very nice that you have. I got now our other our list. Uh, okay, when hockey playoffs are over, it takes up a lot of the board. But at, when that's over, this is going to be the full board. I know you can't see it now, but this is going to be... A little bit of a It's going to look nice. Let me... Glare. Get it all pimped out with all the colors. And uh, so this is these are our talking points for this episode. Well, we did NHL picks. Yes, we Where's did. the NBA picks? How are my hickers doing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the T-Rexes got knocked out. No! My T-Rexes! <laughs> the T-Rexes are out of the playoffs. <laughs> How could anyone have predicted? Yeah, and the Moes. Moes got... Uh, I think the Moes are still in. <laughs> um, so, uh, we got to get to our dick pics. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. <clears throat> but first I have to... I think we got to take an intermission. I have to urinate. Oh, okay. That's fine. Intermission! We intermission! can edit this out. do, 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 Oh, we're waiting. Nick is an asshole. You wanna know why he's an asshole? Because he fucking ate all the fucking pretzels. I had a long day at school. I started at 8 a.m. this morning and went straight through with only 15 minute breaks. And he ate all the pretzels. I got back. I don't want to Hi. 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 How you doing? What were we talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Did you think you were gonna get a phone call? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I let it run. So I, I think it's oh, because I was just like, if I get a fucking phone call and I'm like halfway across the damn room. No, I actually had to urinate. Yeah, I heard. That's yeah. when I kind of was like, oh, okay, he's actually peeing. Unless you call right. me while you're peeing. So did you did you talk about our, our next segment, the dick pics? No, I wanted to leave that up to you. Okay. You're brilliant All right. Idea. Well, well, so I came up with this plan. I originally wanted to have to do it during the show. I was gonna post a Craigslist article uh, before the show soliciting dick pics. And then um, as the uh, penis pictures would come in, me and my lovely co-host, who is a penis expert, uh, will analyze, <laughs> the, analyze penis the penis that penises that I solicited on Craigslist. How'd you but, solicit them? Uh, I posted an ad. Well, well, the thing was, I didn't think I was going to get anything. I, I didn't think that guys would, would just send pictures of their penis to somebody that they have no idea you live is a, a real person. You live a very sheltered life. You, you're asking yeah. for the dick pics. Yeah, so... Could you imagine every single girl has got, like, while on, like, Tinder or on KIK or something like that, has gotten an unsolicited dick pic, not even asking for it. Well, I understood anything. that, but, like... So if you I asked did, for it, what did you think? I thought I happen? would get, like, two or three over the course of, like, 24 hours. I didn't think I'd get... Okay, I'm gonna spoil it because so I, I posted oh, the ad. Count? I posted the ad early, 
just to see if I got like because I thought three, two or three throughout the course of twenty four hours. I got fifty. Wait, is the final total fifty? Final total is like fifty three. That's more than like every single video combines views. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. That's. I just 50. remember. I just remember working on my paper yesterday, and I keep like I keep. Like, I was. I was like. It was like. What is going on? Did you uh, get to the part in Breaking Bad where Walt Jr. sets up the account? To, so people could send his yeah. dad money and Saul was using it as a laundering and he, he was sitting there like 55 <laughs> reading it out and there was like the dinging <laughs> that was like, your phone that, that was my pics. phone and me I was like 37 dick pics <laughs> never heard someone so proud of oh pics. my god we got but, an well, onslaught of dick account. pics got, well oh the, the ad got deleted after three hours. So that was three hours I got 50 dick pics. Hold on. I wanna, Three hours. And you thought you were going to get two to three every 24 hours. 53 in three hours. In three hours. I'm, I'm trying to find the... Because I want to read the exact article. Um, exact article. Or the exact ad I put on uh Oh, you should just screenshot it. In. I will. I will. Okay. <clears throat> but I, I think you should read the ad. Okay. In your sexiest voice possible. Okay. In your sexiest voice possible. Ooh, I love the font on this. Well, that's that's the uh, telling me that it got deleted. Apparently, you're not supposed to put your KIK account because that's what that's how I got the dick pics. I put my KIK account on there. Gotcha. Go ahead, read it. Title first. The title, obviously. Looking for a hot guy with a nice member. W4M. A oh, woman for men, I got it. Yes. I don't use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all, I'm Jess. You couldn't come up with a better name than Jess? That's like the most common name among our generation, I'm come pretty sure. a little realistic. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I know two brothers. Both of them are dating Jesses. <laughs> and their sister name is Jess. <laughs> Kenneth is on. I, I'm Jess. Uh, I'm 5'6". 120 pounds, blonde hair, blue eyes. Can you use any grammar in this? Use commas. Does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> I got 50 responses on this. Obviously, it was a good ad. <laughs> People say I kind of look like Taylor Swift, but hotter. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to swap pics with at first and then see where it goes from there. Winky smiley face. I guess you could call me a size queen. I love BBC. She loves British news. <laughs> the BBC. <laughs> I love BBC, BWC, and there's a cracking phone. BHC. That's big Hispanic cocks. I was wondering oh, why I was just about to ask what yeah. Sol stood for. No, okay. So BBC, big black cocks. BWC, big white cocks. BHC. That one I made up. I didn't. I've never seen an ad with BHC. Huh. Yeah. What about BAC? There's never... what, what about BAC? Yeah. <laughs> Stereotyping. Well, uh, that's one stereotype that I have to say is pretty accurate. How I've do you seen, know? Have you seen? I've seen Asian a lot of porn seen? in my day. I've seen a lot of Asian dicks. Not one of them it can compete with some of the the black cocks I've seen. <laughs> okay. If, if you watch enough porn, you realize pretty quick that those stereotypes are pretty accurate. No, because they're probably just no. looking for people to fill that mm. stereotype. And no, work. no. Come no. on. They'd have. You'd think at least one would break the stereotype, but no. I'm telling if you. If you're Asian and you I'm have a big dick, send a, send a picture no. to our KIK account. Every, every guy <laughs> on prove it. every guy in the world that watches porn knows what I'm talking about. That is an accurate stereotype. <laughs> I don't think so. I all right. disagree with you. All right, all right. Well, maybe we can see because we got every yeah. color of the rainbow sending us awesome. dick pics. I am so excited, and what? Um, we should keep our KIK account. No, no, we should tell it. Say it on the air. Spread oh. it. Hang on, I gotta finish your ad. Okay. Okay, so I love BBC, BWC, and BHC, and BAC. Um. But I'm not anti small guys either. Small Which totally guys. doesn't make sense. Yeah, if you're a size queen, you're not into small guys at all. How did you? 
But I'm not anti-small guys either. Small ones can be just as fun as big ones. Smiley face. <laughs> All caps. You must send a picket order to get a response. Sorry, I like guys that are not afraid to send a hot pick at a moment's I, notice. I think you mean all caps. <laughs> all caps. I hate that commercial. K I K me at nothing better to do. Like it looks like that. It's right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> um. This honestly sounds like one of those terrible like phone sex commercials you see late at night yeah. while you're watching Baggage. Live links. <laughs> Free to try. <laughs> Me and my friends have been here and we're so bored. <laughs> so uh, let's get to the dick pics. Yeah, and, uh, everybody. We're not going to show them. So I printed them out and we're going to rank them from best dick pic to worst dick pic with their KIK names above it. That'd be terrible. <laughs> and even though, like, they think that they're, well, they chose to send a dick pic out into the world, but that doesn't mean we're going to show it on air. Okay. So instead, I'm going to describe something that a dick we're looks gonna, like. We're going to paint the picture. We're we going to paint the dick pictures. Yep. It's going to be great. Yes. So do you want to like one after the well, other? Well, first we had uh, uh, four people that didn't understand what KAK was and sent the dick pictures to the email. Oh, so, so we should start with those. So let's start with those. <clears throat> okay. The stupid people. <laughs> the people that can't follow instructions. Yeah. KAK, not email. All righty. So, uh. <laughs> did you just read his name? Yeah, I did. You can't say that. Are you making it up? I'm gonna beep it out. <laughs> oh. Well, they can read your... <laughs> you moved it too fast. Well, that's his name. Oh, okay. He says, hey there, real Ortiz. I have a BWC. Is that the pick you want? He didn't send a pick. He was just asking. I said, if you send a pick, you get a response. Uh, he didn't send a pick, so no response He's to him. He's gone. Gone. So our count went from 53 to 52. That sounds like a real name. <laughs> um, hey there. Very curious to see where this goes. New here from NYC on business, so a new friend wouldn't hurt. It hurt Aww. me because he has a big dick. <laughs> you want to look at it? Yeah. Look, it's... Oh, he's got a little... I like this. He's got a water bottle to reference look at that oh that's a how, good looking dick i just want to say how convenient of him yes. to put it with the water bottle he just put so a show us. a water bottle to show us the size yeah it's it's not as big as the water bottle no it's missing like the cap like it's yeah. just all the way up into the cap and i don't know his, he's, he's circumcised yeah, he's, he's, cut. he's circumcised Kind of looks like a little mushroom top, like the perfect shape of a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, I just made it bigger. Except, <laughs> yeah, but he's taking it from a downward angle, but you can kind of see, like, the ball. It's like side ball. Mm-hmm. Is it, is, I think he's a span, hold on. I think he has more picks. No, oh, he's a oh, oh, boy. Oh, he's got abs. He's got Whoa, abs. He's got tattoo. a nice tattoo. He's got, a like, a oh, sun on his shoulder. That's a gorgeous tattoo. I want to know the meaning behind his tattoo. Can, um, I, can I K-I-K him? <laughs> Ooh, he sent another picture and it's just black and white, but it's like from here down and it's just like his tattoo. It's cute. <laughs> he wasn't bad looking, but those pictures could be fake. We could, they uh, could be. We could put them through we Google. Should, yeah, Google image search them. Okay, so that's... He's in the running. <laughs> Are these... That, but he has a girl name. Girl name. So? I burp, excuse me. Ooh, this one's strange. He didn't send a dick pic. What did he say? Um, uh, just saw your post. What's up? Exclamation point, question mark. I'm down to hang and party up. Here's a pic. If you like, you should hit me up. Send me a pic too. XO. Um, so he took a picture with a, what looks like the camera of a Razer cell phone. Is, oh, and he's doing duck face. Oh, is he? That's a duck face. He's got like um, those, uh, 
You know when you have glasses and you're going on roller coasters. Oh yes, yeah, so you put them backwards on your head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Or the the uh, like things that go on the ends so they don't uh. fall off. He's got that, and he's got like a like a fifty five fifty nine fifty hat on. It makes his head look so tiny. He, his actual head. I couldn't like tell him. if he was in his thirties or in his fifties. <laughs> Can we stop saying the name? <laughs> There's probably a million. Ooh. The, the scary thing is, is he, he kind of looks like my father. And there's, there's that's so not that real. is a big dick. I am so sorry, but that's so not real. The first because picture doesn't add up with the second picture. The first picture, you could tell he's a hairy man. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell, it's just his. Face. He has a mustache. He's got a mustache. He's kind of balding on top. Looks like one of those guys that's just hairy. And then the next shot, and he's old and he's wrinkly. And the next shot is smooth skin, shaved arms, darker skin tone, veiny, big. It is pretty big. And I he's was, wearing neon underwear and a neon t-shirt, and that old man would not be wearing that combination. Yeah, that this is super. Fake. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, um, I, I smell the fakeness on that one. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get another one. We got <clears throat> four down, forty nine to go. <laughs> RP. This one's just RP. With this, uh, fill your description. I'm thirty three, five eleven. Average build, brown hair, hazel eyes, easy on the eyes too, loads of stamina, <laughs> get it, loads, <laughs> it's a cum joke, uh, to rock your world all night long, drug and disease flip free, willing oh, to I please, love that he specified I'm that. downtown LA, able to host or travel. This guy's very accommodating. He is. He's so nice. Let's look at his and mushroom. And you know what? It's, having to talk about STDs, it's amazing that he brings it up. No, everybody does. Mask. Really? Yeah, that's. I'm not in the D world. It's uh, D and D free. Oh. So there's there's his uh, schlong. His Roger. That one. He's he's. Oh, he does a full body oh. pic. Now the guys do the full frontal. He's he's using the I've phone to obscure his face a little bit. He kind of which is also smart. It's kind of weird because he looks like my brother, and it's weird that I see my. <laughs> <laughs> it's your brother, but with uh, one of our friend's ears. <laughs> you know which friend? One of our friend. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, <laughs> it's like your brother and your friend had a baby. <laughs> And, okay, so those are the only ones I got on email. Now, it's time to go to the f 55 new chats on KIK I have. That number just keeps changing. Well, this guy didn't send a picture, so... Oh, he did send a picture. Mm. Uh, doctor looking for something casual and friendly. How are you? He's a doctor. Cold hands, not into it. Ooh, all right, well, tap to luck. Oh, There's no dick. No, no dick, but he is... Pretty built. He is. He kind of looks like a sim. He's really smooth. <laughs> Do you think it might be fake? I think it's fake. That it's also he has wait, an eight me, pack. Whose mirror? Okay, on, uh, never mind. I was about to say whose mirror's on the ground to the point where you can stand normally with and get your head cut off. But my mirror in my bedroom actually <laughs> um, was on the ground. Yeah. All right. Go to okay. the next one. Hey, I'm J Dog. LOL. Oh, that was the name I put on my K. Okay. Oh. I think people call him kicks. He didn't send a picture. Oh, fuck him. No, not literally, but... Oh, Jay sent a picture. Jay sent a picture? Jay, he just said, hey, straight to the point. Oh, oh, it's a video. Ooh. Oh, he's jerking himself off. Ooh, what color? Uh. Nice. He's circum... He's not circum... I can't... Well, when it's erect, it's kind of hard to tell. When you're no, jerking No, you can off. tell by the way that he's pushing the, the skin over the head. I like how he showed us the balls and... Yeah, he's very well shaped. Yeah, he, he did a little like pump, 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 ball show, pump, pump, pump. Hey, Jess, winky smiley. F oh, no picture. Mm. Can't they read the damn ad? He did send a winky smiley face, though, and his profile looks... Ooh, hello. He sends two <laughs> pictures. Hey, still looking? Oh, the first one no, is... I am. Oh, the first one is just him. Not the big... It's so weird. It's like he wrapped... He wrapped his. It looks like he, he accidentally got his like boxers all wrapped up in it. Like he, it looks like so. Like he looks like he took a shirt. It looks and like wrapped he wrapped it around his. It dick. looks like he made a tourniquet 
around his dick. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, and he's, he's, like, holding up his dick by holding up the cloth. Yeah. Whatever he tangled his dick up in. <laughs> that is a strange photo. <laughs> it is, but you know what? It's memorable. He does have, maybe it was to, kind of, <coughs> I mean, it is a big Johnson. It, it is pretty big. It's, it's like a baby arm. I mean, look at his arm compared to it. Oh, whoa. It, like, <laughs> matches the girth of his arm. Yeah. Wow. I'd suck on that. Where's his other one? Oh, he's got another one. Oh. Oh, Ooh. no, the first one is just him. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got a very nice body. He's, he's got a football and he's on a beach. <laughs> but it's kind of shaded, so there might be some flab there. Yeah, not bad. No. Oh, no, there's no flab. Yeah. Dude, that's all ab. <laughs> okay. Next one, he's titled Batman, and he has a picture of Batman as his profile. You know what the great thing about this bit is? If you want to try this at home, if you want to look at 50 penises... You if you just do that. Yeah. If you're just bored and say, hey, I haven't seen 50 penises in a while. This is our first abless guy. Oh, really? Picture. Yeah, he just looks, looks like a normal, chill dude. It's probably Ooh, actually real. He's a twink. I think he's Hispanic. He looks a little Hispanic. A little Hispanic. But yeah, um, it's amazing that like guys are so willing I would say to share their dick pics and like, average dick. I, it's it's got like a like a cone head kind of look to it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It's kind of pointed. Yeah. A high, no picture. High, no picture. We have fifty responses. Why would I respond to a high, no picture? <laughs> and then there's high there. You like big dick? Yeah, that's what it said in the ad. Then, oh, this one's on the. Oh, it was a picture of him in clothes. No, Ugh, boring. He looks. He looks kind of like Carlos Mencia. He kind of has like a like a a baseball player look to him. Yeah, a professional Ooh, baseball yeah, player. Yeah, that's a good description. Ooh. Hmm. You stop Whoa. saying their names. That is a odd looking dick. Oh, let me see. It's like ninety percent head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but what flashed in my brains is the brains from Mars Attacks. <laughs> like, put some googly eyes on that shit. That's what it looks like. <laughs> googly? I don't know, can, we, can, can I please ask him to put some googly eyes on his dick? No! Leave him alone! Alright, boom. Sent it. Put some don't actually say that. Put some googly eyes on your dick. Sent. <laughs> This guy looks like he's got, um, the beating. Oh, really? Yeah. The piercing thing? Like, it's very ridged. When you zoom in. Oh, he's it got could a be cool veiny. tattoo on his arm, too. I mean, on his leg. Let's see. Ribbed for her pleasure. It looks Ew. like... He's got, like, a hairy dick. No, it's not. It it's, looks beaded. No, I think it's just a veiny sucker. He's definitely um, not the fittest fellow. No, and his, also, his... his dick is long, but it, it lacks. Yeah. <laughs> Does it, it doesn't have a good uh, arch to it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. His name is... Don't. Le Let's Smoke. Oh, okay. There's good. numbers after it that I didn't say. Yeah. Hey, saw your Craigslist post. Still looking? I saw that guy. Are you going up or down? Down. This two guys said that, okay. Wait, there's Batman? You're going the wrong way. You didn't tell me that there was Batman's I dick. told you. Oh! Gosh, why don't you listen? Because I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> Stop reading. <laughs> um, down to hang out? Oh, this isn't a dick pic. Mm, yeah, a few of them are just regular. Just his chest. No head. What I mean, if, he's got a nice... What if he's missing teeth, though? I know a lot of people that have a nice body, but like if you saw Are their missing face, teeth? <laughs> How many people do you know have a nice body, but are myth missing their teeth? I know a lot of rednecks. Hey, baby. Okay, listen. If a girl, a real girl, not us fake weird creepy people who are looking at dick pics, but if a girl asks you to send a dick pic, don't send a picture. Like, girls like it when you can follow directions. If I ask for a dick pic, give me a dick pic. Don't send me a picture of you fully clothed or you in a shirt or... If I ask you for a dick pic and you don't want to send me a dick pic, just say no. That's okay, too. I totally respect that. But just letting you know that if you want to send one, follow the instructions. <clears throat> and my rant continue.
Words to live by, Lloyd. I gotta, I gotta get you your cranberry juice. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna get me a. Should another... I continue looking at some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, perusal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, our um, we're about forty six minutes in, and we. Oh, he's a little. He's not little. Mm. He's girthy. He's short and girthy. But his curve is interesting. It goes, like. This. Just a little slight to the left, but not a lot. Oh, he sleeps on his side, does he? Yeah, but not... Just like now, is it... Is it would, would you not be so inclined to suck it? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that angle would kind of hurt my head. It, I heard you it, were looking for me. What's up, doll? Wait, what did he say? No picture. I heard you were looking for me. What's up, Dal? <laughs> Fuck you. What a douche. He made it sound like he was like one of our friends told us about him. <laughs> um, 28510 DDF and looking for some NSA fun too. That's no strings attached. And oh. down to fuck. No, that would be DTF. This is DDF. Oh, uh, drug and disease free. Oh, thank you. Yes. Also, I saw NSA. <laughs> and I don't know why, but my head, my head filled it to say looking for some NASA fun too. And I went, "Oh my gosh, it's like spaceships! We're going to space!" Spaceships, spaceships. <laughs> Sorry, Lego Movie reference. Um, yeah, but he didn't send a picture. Hey, why don't you do a, a Lego Batman movie reference? I'm getting a line of no dicks. I'm I'm <laughs> getting a line of no dicks. <laughs> How's it going? Happy Friday. Finding what you're looking for today. I think I have what you're searching for. Ooh. No picture. Oh. Ooh. Then how would we know? Hey, want to have some hot sex today? Very forward. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I would like some cold sex, please. Kind of looks like another one of our friends. But also, it's really bothering me that he didn't edit the picture. So what he did, he didn't even try. So what he did was, when you take a picture and then you open the picture in Is photos, it? he screenshotted the picture in photos. So it has the date that he took it, which was in November. He, he's, uh, oh my god, and it has like, on the bottom, you could kind of see like blurry other dick pics I'm that he took. Like, that. Because it has, he did screenshot in his oh gallery. And so, like, at the bottom, you know how we flip There's through? one zoomed in on, on a boob. Oh, my gosh. What? There's, it's your boob? There's, there's <laughs> boobs. And a, that's a girl butt. I think that... And there's a picture of him being face in a FaceTiming fa format and a girl being in a face in a FaceTiming format. I think that he screenshotted her during a FaceTime. Ooh, let me see. Don't respect that. It's, so, I can't see. You can look at it. But I describe I, it. Okay. <laughs> Can I see? Can you can I barely see? tell, though. You can just kind of barely make out. And I think one of them is his nipple. He just has a very feminine nipple. Oh, thank you for the cranberry juice. Oh, he's a fatty. Yeah, no, you're right. Because oh. there's a picture that kind of looks like his face, and he's got, like, double chin going on. Oh, could just be the angle. Could no, no, angle. look at it. Look at it. It looks It looks like he has man no, tits he, and a double a, chin. He doesn't look that good. Well, there's a picture right here. A full picture. Oh, let me He's see. just a bigger guy. Yeah, not not anything I want to tango with. <laughs> I think he looks kind of sweet. A little bit of a baby face. But yeah, um, when you send pictures, just be mindful of that. This picture is November 10th, 2016. At 11.25 a.m. That's a weird time to take a picture. <laughs> also, I posted this during the day. It was between the hours of noon and 3 p.m. on a weekday. On a weekday, these people don't work. Well, I mean, like this guy works. You just keep them stored so he can just send them out. Oh yeah. But for some reason, has to screenshot his iPhotos to make yeah, it work. Yeah, they're they're probably doing it at work. Okay, here we go. We got a string of pictures. All right. Oh, I see a string of pictures in there. This guy picked a very artistic angle. Ooh. He he he's it's erect, but it's just laying on his stomach. But the picture is from his ball, like the angle of his balls. So you see balls, and then you kind of see the dick. Can and I see? him just kind of sorry. I should share that. Yeah. It's just it's very just like artistic. Ooh, like oh angle. no, I don't like that. It's a very interesting angle. His, it's like his balls look like strawberries. 
I like strawberries. Mm, mm, no, that looks... Look at those. It, it looks like he just got done scratching them. It looks like he just got done manscaping. It, no, it looks like... Uh, when you Ever go like strawberry picking in Florida or something? His balls look like like strawberries on the vine. <laughs> your uh, strawberries on the vine look delicious. So I don't know how I this sound, you're supposed to make this sound gross. But I mean that on a human being doesn't look delicious. This one guy he sent us a picture of him grabbing his dick through his pants. He has very feminine fingers. Like they're just really really well manicured. Hey there, J Dog. So you're a size queen. How big? <laughs> What? Wow. What? It looks it looks like a little alien tentacle is popping out of his jeans like Oh. Yeah, that's the noise it would make too. <laughs> <laughs> like it's very very ugly. Love that type so much <laughs> but then he's got a frowny face love that type frowny face he's oh he's got yeah, button fly too okay so this is his this is like his pants his dick's going like this like straight out like it curves it and like goes straight it kind of look it has this kind of shape to it <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's really freaky looking <laughs> like that <laughs> it's curved very oddly yeah Hey Jess, I'm here, 25, living in Westwood. I wanted to share a little something with you and see what you think of it. Well, let's see what we think of it. Ooh. Oh my god. It. Let's see. It looks like a growth. Like, it looks like it's too big to exist. It's like it the looks, shack of dicks. <laughs> it looks like this is an elephant trunk, and this is the elephant's mouth and tongue, and it's going... <laughs> and like do it the towards the going, camera. Do it towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just so weird. I'm going to put a picture here. I'm going to find a good example of what I'm talking about, because that's what it looks like. It even kind of got, like, if its ears were just kind of flat down into its face. <laughs> like, that's what this guy's ball sack to trunk looks like. <laughs> Ball sack to trunk. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> it is big though. It's a big trunk. It, it's, it's a hefty one, but I, I don't know if it's healthy. It's hefty, but not healthy. <laughs> I mean, it looks fine. It looks fine. What else we got? I'm looking. Is it just a lot haze? Of just hellos. Oh. Oh, it's a video. Another video. Ooh, we like the videos. Oh, oh, can we get the audio on the mic? No. Oh, it's... this is long. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, he's actually going at it. Oh, my God. I want to watch. Just don't make them listen to this. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, my gosh. He, he looks like he lives in my old apartment. <laughs> Oh, nice. He uh, So he started by rubbing his uh, basketball shorts. That's when he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And then he pulls it out and he goes, oh, nice. And then he really starts going at it. I don't... You want to watch it again? No! What did Roger Beach Guy... <laughs> That's not his real name. I can say that one, at least. He, he said, hey, j Dog. So you're a size queen. Love You're that going type the so wrong much. Way. Oh. Look at the ones that the blue. Oh, guy. I see. I see now. Sup, Jessica. That's all he said. I said my name was Jess. That's so rude. Yeah, I know. What if your name was that just Jess? If if that would be like me telling someone, hey, hi, uh, my name's Nick, and then someone going, oh, how's it going, Nicholas? It's like I said, my name uh, is no. Nick. No. Whatever I said is how I want you to refer to me as. Yeah. Unless you're Respect. old. If somebody requests to be referred to a certain way, that's how you should refer to them. And someone just sent me, interesting post. <laughs> no picture. No no profile picture. I feel like that's what a dad would say if he saw his daughter's post on KIK. Yeah. Like, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, and picture. Um, so, so are you still interested? I'm at West Hollywood right now. Above Sunset Plaza. <laughs> and uh, hmm. he's got, it kind of looks like a dolphin. 
Yeah, it kind of, it has a dolphin kind of look to it. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's a very sleek penis. It's pointy. Penis. It's yeah. smooth. And it's, well, I mean, like, that thing kind of does look like a fin. I can see what you're saying, but he, it, it's a very cone head. Mm -hmm. It's a cone headed dolphin. This one's, ooh, this guy's creepy. He looks like an <laughs> MMA fighter. I, I mean, we didn't see his, we don't see his penis, but look at that. <laughs> he looks like an awesome He's like driving. Logan. This guy didn't send a dick pic, but um, he has a very unfortunate shaped head. He's chucking the deuces. Oh, he's chucking deuces. He's chucking the deuces, and his head is... He kind of looks like Beavis and Butthead. It's like it's like his chin started here, but then it went just it kept getting bigger. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. <laughs> this guy's taking a bath. He's taking a bubble bath. It's all sozy. It's all bubbly. It's <laughs> there's so many bubbles. Look at the bubbles. Oh, he's he's jerking it in the shower. I would be afraid that it, to get my phone wet. I want to see that full screen. Yeah, really. Kudos to you, person who made this video, because that takes some and, ball. And um, from my experience, if I got my dick as soaked up as that one, I would get something in the head, and when you went to piss, it felt like you were pissing fire. I've had that happen to me when I I've washed my penis with too much soap, and you get a you get a little little bit in the in the crumb, as Barrett says. <laughs> hey, you're a female, right? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> no. No pick. No pick. Hi, little lady. <laughs> little lady? Lil. L-I-L. -L. Ooh, this one's got two picks. How's your Friday treating you Aww. so far, Dow? I'm... <laughs> He's got like a, he's got kind of like an emo kind of vibe to him. An emo dick? But he's got a nice penis. Oh, I love his I could, pose. If I was to go gay, I would go gay for... Nah, no, just kidding. You have a, like his pose is just, he's just he has such a powerful pose yeah. right there. It's like, he's just like, yes. But like his legs are out and spread a little bit. He's got great tattoos too. Real nice tattoos. Yeah. Oh, and the second picture is him sitting down. Oh, I didn't see the second picture. He's like squeezing it so it makes it look better. Oh, it's uh, his uh, pants around his knees and he, he's uh, got his boxer briefs and he's, he's kind of squirting it out. He's a little pinheady, but yeah, that's a good cock. So uh, we're on to another penis. Oh my God, this is getting tiring. It is. <laughs> this but yet guy, I can't stop. this guy needs to shave, and um, he's got a very rigid. Rigid is good. Oh, he, he! Oh, dude, this guy's pretty ballsy. He sent a, a face and dick pic. He's got kind of a gnarly oh. face, though. He's got kind of like a each tooth going a different direction on the front row of teeth. <laughs> Fine. Nah, he's got a little snaggly tooth thing going on. Oh, I see. I see no snaggle now. I see what doing. But mm. I don't know. I mean, props to him. The only thing that's bothering me in this picture is he's completely naked, but he's wearing a hat. Yeah, he's got like a winter beanie hat on. You wear hats for warmth, but you're obviously not cold. I don't know. Good for him for like being bold enough to send a picture like that, but not my, not my thing. Okay, last two. Oh, Mr. Person. Oh my gosh, is that a chode? Is it a chode? Did we get a chode? I think we got a chode. We didn't get any big black cocks yet. I'm kind of disappointed. No big BBCs. Oh, oh, he needs to moisturize his chode. Oh no. Oh, oh it no. It looks a little dry around the rim. Oh, that is a chode. It's oh, he was jerking too much. That's a... It's such a cute little chode. It's not even hard. Oh, that yeah, is maybe so he's a sad. Grower, not a shower. Mm, well, you better show the grow when you are sending dick pics. You don't show your flaccid penis. <laughs> One person just said, feeling this is fake, LOL. <laughs> but here's my dick anyways. No, I didn't send one. And our final, final dick pic. 
Hey Jess, how are you? I saw your uh, posting on CL. I am interested in talking for a bit and seeing where it goes. I am a black male, BBC, uh, black male, uh, 5'10", 163 pounds. I am chill, uh, I am chill, land, fun. I, I, turn. I wanted someone who was sea fun. <laughs> yeah. and just looking for some fun. How many times are you going to say fun, pal? He's all about the fun. With a chill person. Oh my god, he loves chill fun. <laughs> he, he wants a chill fun person. So if you're interested, I have attached it a pic. Let's talk. It's like he sent it like a very formal email. Oh, it's like just he was a applying for a job. Is he cute? Eh, he? He's kind of got like a Kanye West kind of look. He, he blurred out his eyes. Yeah, he took a Snapchat and blurred out his eyes. Yeah. I think he, he looks like he could be really cute. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm kind of sad we didn't get his BBC. I mean, I'm not either, but I actually, his post was really polite. Yeah. I, it, just, it just looked fun. <laughs> he just, he looks so fun and chill. We, we know what you're going to be up to <laughs> coming up here. You're going to go on Craigslist. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, thank you for all of our... All our dick pics. Oh, I just noticed that one of the guy's names just... I can't say it out loud. I'm sorry. Um, thank you for all the dick pics to our KIK. Even though you didn't know it. Can I please send one person? I'm going to send them the link to this video. <laughs> <laughs> say try to pick out which dick was yours could you oh i got a better plan how about we tell we rent out a motel and um and we invite every single one of them to come to the motel with flowers so then 50 at the same time 50 people will show up to this motel with flowers and we'll just keep inviting people into the room so it'll be like a Marx Brothers Oh my gosh. situation. <laughs> Only if I can sit there with a stick and honk honk. Actually, I don't think it's safe for me to be there. That we'll, sounds like too many dicks we'll, in one area. We'll try to get all the dicks into one room. Can we please do that? No. If you can get 500,000 views on this episode. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? 500,000 views on this episode. We will KIK and do that. We will we will do uh, another video. We'll just we'll rent a hotel and get every single person into the room. We'll see how many people we can <laughs> and like how many people are like, wait, who's 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 this? <laughs> There's another. Oh, how many fucking guys are here? <laughs> I feel like you would leave after the realizing there was no girl in the room. Well, you would be in the room. I'm not sitting we'll just, in the room with 50 dicks. <laughs> That's true. It'll just be me and be like, hello. <laughs> no. Just, we we'll would need to hire car security. Across the street. Yeah. We'd have to hire security. But yeah, I. It just amazes me how many people. It, like when a guy sends an. Like, I, I was thinking this earlier. When a guy sends a, a naked pic, it's totally acceptable and it's funny. But when, when it's girls, it's like. Yeah. That's shameful. You shouldn't do that. But guys are just like, here's a picture of my dick. You asked. I got it. Mm. It's just so interesting to see the difference. Yeah. Because yeah. I think I feel like if we did this with a male asking for female pics, first off, he'd be considered no, a pervert. No, you wouldn't get a single picture. And you wouldn't get a single picture. Yeah. Honestly, I would just Or you would get try. a bunch of, like, stock <clears throat> photos that... Yeah, or, like, a guy sending fake pictures. Yeah. I would like to do it, like, a social experiment to see how many female versions we get of this but then again it, it it seems like also just with our like how gender is perceived differently like this is funny this is okay yeah but if but if it was females bodies that we we're making oh, fun, then it's definitely not okay yeah then there would be a problem we'd be like shaming we'd be yeah. fat shaming but also yeah, really we'd be shame. leading women exploiting their bodies whereas mm -hmm. even though this should be considered exploiting men's bodies but it's it's funny. still kind of funny yeah wow Way Sorry to, that took a little serious tone. Way, way to kill the bit, Dominique. We can edit that out. I just... No, it's fine. I feel like it was really important to No, you know. no, that was a very interesting point. I, yeah. I liked it. Yeah. So, uh, we're done with that. Do, do you want to cross it off? Oh, can I? Yeah, if you'd like. Here, take this one. Mm -hmm. God, what color do you want? Um, well, you used orange and black. But on the last one, you used blue. So, I'm going to do red. Okay. All right, speaking of uh, deceiving people online, I watched the worst episode of Catfish 
ever. I didn't even know they were still making catfish. Well, I don't know if it's new, but I was... Catfish is one of my kind of guilty pleasure reality shows where if it's on, I kind of check it out and see. Just because I think it's so amazing how many people... Like, I saw... So, I, I was up probably about to 2 a.m. watching Catfish the other night. And the first one was good. Uh, that was... This dude was sending this girl... Like, he sent her about $2,000. He never... He said he never saw her, like, who she actually was. And he had, like, stock photos which the guy the you know the two document people they quickly realized that the picture she sent was fake so then when they went to confront her they were like why did you send these pictures she's like he knew what i look like i we facetimed and the guy's like yeah that's probably true we did facetime that's probably true yeah no he what? knew he knew that she wasn't who she originally said she was, but he still believed her and sent her almost two thousand dollars. And it even got weirder when um, she bought herself an engagement ring and sent it to herself so her mom can see. And then she posted it on Facebook that she got engaged to this guy. Yeah. So that's a good episode of Catfish. Then the episode that came after that was the worst. Episode. I know that's kind of hard to follow. That's ever. pretty weird. Yeah, that was weird. But so <clears throat> it was an attractive girl. She was really, really pretty, and she was chatting with this guy who uh, he was a rapper in Florida, and she lived in like Texas or something. And um, they were looking into this guy's cell phone, and they found out that because he was a famous rapper, and he befriended this girl on Facebook, who she was a waitress at or a bartender and her her not on facebook on um yeah yeah she was at a a, much was true a texas bar and um was that all that was true yeah that was about (laughs) it but she was she kind of kind of a little like slutty on uh whoa 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 come on well even the guys they like they they confronted her. They're like, "Do you think that this is an appropriate thing to be posting? Like, what if one of your jobs?" They kind of judged her, and that was the that was the most dramatic part of the episode, because it turned out like everything was fine. Like she's like, "I wasn't sure about this guy on I met on Instagram. He he says he's a rapper, but I don't want to meet him by myself, so I just contacted you guys for support." So I was like, "Okay, that's cool." Wait, was cool. this the one where it was the first time of somebody on Catfish had sex with the guy that or girl that they? No, they didn't say they had oh, sex because there was one where they actually yeah. like met up, and then the guy actually became super possessive and um, she left him. No, it no, they were kind of just like, oh, that's. Okay, well, it ended with... So, they kind of alluded that it might have been the the rapper's brother who was married. He was married, and they found out that the phone number that she was using to text was linked to their mother. And it could have either been the actual rapper or his brother's phone. Mm-hmm. And um, when they called the manager of the rapper... He said that it was actually it wasn't the rapper's number, but it was the brother's number, and then so it, so she finally meets them, and it, they were both attractive people, and the rapper was the most uncharismatic guy I've ever, like he was he, the stereotypical attractive no brains, <laughs> you know he looked kind of like Johnny Depp, Ooh. but he like. Um, he, he talked like an athlete at a press conference where they say, um, you know, and like every other word. <laughs> um, you know, like, uh, yeah, I, um, you know, like, saw your profile. I, uh, you know, like, thought you were hot. And then, like, um, I saw you, um, like. Okay, wow. It's, I can't even <laughs> that's, let you finish. That's how he was talking. And it was just, the whole episode led to just two attractive people kind of falling somewhat being like oh okay you were exactly what i expected i'm happy it worked out for them but that's not what the show is about i want to see drama i'm happy that two (sighs) people relationship worked out and it didn't work out it didn't work out they ended up dating other people and just became like kind of friends well i am still happy that
that it didn't end dramatically. I know that seems really lame, but I don't know. Online can be a really scary place where weird and weird and strangers pretend to be females just so they can make fun of your dicks. The the most <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the most dramatic part of the episode was them saying, "Hey, your Instagram's kind of hoary. You might want to cut that out." I think that that was super inappropriate. I thought so too. She can post whatever. Yeah, no, she I was wants. the same way. She's her. Yeah. She's a strong, independent woman, and she doesn't need anybody to tell her. Yeah, and she was smart. She was actually like, it made sense. Her like, she's like, um, you know, <laughs> no. <laughs> but she, uh, she contacted them for the right reasons. She just didn't want to go there by herself. Super safe. She was yeah. really smart. Yeah. Props to her. Yeah, and it's like. I don't know. If you want to be kind of hoary, I think you have every right to be kind of hoary. You know? Like, in the... I'm talking about the social context I'm just, I'm just of recalling of um, Patton Oswald's bit where it's just like, look at the intention behind what the person's exactly, saying. If they're exactly. using offensive words, look at what they actually mean. And what you actually mean is very... I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, so you if, if you just took the, the phrase... Women can be kind of hoary if they want. It kind of looks bad, but if you look at the first... It, what you're trying to say is women can present themselves however they want without mm. being judged. It's their bodies and they have a right to show as much of it or less of it as they want. Yeah. In more or less words, that's what you meant. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't... I'm, <laughs> I'm not so good at phrasing when I'm under the weather, under the... The drink weather. Yeah, you're under the drink weather. I'm under the actual weather. Mm. It's had the flu. The we last didn't talk days. about that. You're sick. Yeah, I'm sick. If you can't hear it in my voice, I don't know if it comes out on camera, yeah. but on camera, on video. Um, our final topic, which is gonna be quick because <laughs> we spent an hour looking at dicks. Well, we're probably gonna edit the not funny ones out. It's yeah, okay. I went to go at Starbucks for. I have not heard about this. Yeah, I didn't tell you about it. I went to go at Starbucks the other night. You were doing your homework, or not night? It was during the day. And uh, it's and I don't judge you. it's it's down the street and um you're gonna know we live by Starbucks. Oh God! No. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I was waiting at the light. I was standing there, and there was a guy next to me in a wheelchair who didn't have any legs. So the light changed, and I quickly walked across the street, like right next to him, and he he started to roll and was kind of struggling. And I looked over at him, and I thought, man, I really wish someone would help that guy. As I crossed the street next to him. Why didn't you? Because I wasn't thinking straight. I just thought, oh man, that poor guy. Like, I was looking at a movie. That poor guy. I wish someone would help him. Even though I was in full capability of helping that guy. But also comes the question of, sometimes when you offer help, it's, even though you have the best intentions. Well, the worst part was, somebody... That was crossing, so like me and the wheelchair guy were crossing this way, and then someone was coming this way, and the guy that was coming this way crossed the wheelchair guy, and was like, hey bud, you need some help? And he pushed him across, and I went, aw, what a good guy. Aw, someone did help him? Yeah, but the, the fact of the matter is that should have been me, because I was standing right next to him. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been that big of an inconvenience for me to just push him across, like I wasn't even in a hurry. And I, I, I looked at him and I went, oh man, I wish someone would help that guy. And it was like I was in full capability of helping him. I mean, a lot of people don't even have the insight to think like, oh wait, I could be somebody who helped them. I, I know, but I just, I just feel like a dick. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people are very proud to be like, I can, I can move myself. I don't need anybody's help. Yeah. And, you know, some people, have, and that's okay too. And, mm-hmm. It's really hard to navigate, like, whether or not to, to offer. It's yeah. a hard situation. So I, I don't blame you for not helping. I don't think you're a terrible person I know, helping, but, like... But I, I kudos was to just, the person who did help, it was, though. No, but an amazing it, person. It was just stewing in my brain when I went to Starbucks about how I didn't help the legless man. And how I was in full capability. So and the, so uh, we were doing the laundry the other day. And he told me to go get quarters, right? So I went to the laundromat. And, um... I, uh, because it's the easiest way to get quarters within walking distance. No, they know we live next to a Starbucks and a laundromat. Oh, God. They're, they're going to pinpoint us. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I went to the laundromat and I got $20 worth of quarters and I just put them in my pocket and I was walking out and I saw a, a separate legless man. <laughs> a different legless Yeah, yeah. Two legless guys in a week. 
So, and he, he asked me for some spare change. So I gave him 50 cents to make up for the legless man that I didn't help before. Wow, I'm sure that other legless man who was crossing the street somewhere felt a little tingle and just went, oh, I know. I've been repaid. Well, Another yeah. Another legless man. He was like, me me and my kind are, are, are going to be all right <laughs> as, long, as long as there's people to give us 25 cents for a leg. <laughs> 